Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 23rd HTML tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we talked about creating iframes in HTML and how we can use them to display multiple web pages if we wanted to uh, within another web page. Uh, and this is different from frames in that frames allow you to display multiple web pages within the same uh, tab or browser window. Um, but in this tutorial, I figured we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, and that is uh, two things actually HTML doc types and how to put comments in HTML. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about there was HTML doc types. Uh, and if you'll notice, right here we have this code here, and it produces this uh, web page up here. And if we refresh just to uh, make sure everything's good. Um, so basically, this is our web page that's produced from this code. And it looks like a lot of code went into producing this website, um, or three lines of text. Uh, so right here we have our header, uh, and then two paragraphs. So uh, what we're going to be doing is talking about how doc types are used in HTML, as well as how to insert comments into your HTML code. Uh, which is important not only in HTML, uh, but once you start programming in other languages like JavaScript, PHP, uh, Java, C++, stuff like that, um, comments start to become more and more important as the code gets more and more complex. So, uh, as you'll notice right here, we have our HTML tags, uh, and then the rest of the stuff, the head, the body, uh, headers, and paragraphs. And now we have two new things. We have a doc type up here, uh, and we have a comment down here. So let's talk about the doc type first. What the doc type does uh, is it basically tells the browser how to display whatever it is that you're writing your code for. Um, so for instance, uh, here we're using the transitional uh, HTML doc type. Um, and you can find more information about these doc types over here on these two web pages. Uh, the, on, w, on the W3Schools website, this is a page about HTML doc types. Um, and there's a bunch of different doc types you can try using. Uh, and this one's just about the doc type tag in the declaration. And it uh, tells you a little bit more it goes a little bit more in depth about the tag of the doc type here. So uh, these will be linked up in the description. So uh, you can take a look at those and choose the doc type that you wanted to. Um, so doc types are recommended to be put, inserted into your HTML code um, because it tells the browser how to render the pages uh, according to the doc type definition. So uh, here are a couple different doc types. We have HTML uh, 4.01 strict, uh, transitional, which is the one that we're using here. And the one that we're using uh, it contains all elements and attributes in HTML, including uh, presentational and depreciated elements, like the font one, uh, but it doesn't allow frame sets like we talked about in the two tutorials ago. Um, so this one is uh, pretty much all we're going to be using because I'm not using frame sets in this. Um, so feel free to go over to these two web pages over here and take a look at what's going on with the doc types and uh, the different doc types that are available to you. Um, so let's come over to our code. And just so you know, a doc type is not actually an HTML tag. Uh, it doesn't go within your HTML code, it goes above it. So uh, just kind of something to uh, let you know. So here we have in our Notepad++ uh, the doc type inserted right above the code here. And uh, doc types have only one tag, it's an opening tag, no closing tag, similar to how you'd write a BR. And uh, to start a doc type, all you do is you type in uh, exclamation point doc type. Uh, HTML public and then uh, some quotation marks and now uh, right here you would put the doc type that you're using similar to up here and then you would just uh, put some information as to where you can find information about it or what the doc type is so uh, I just copied and pasted this doc type over here from the W3Schools website I copied and pasted it from right here and um, it's not necessary that you use doc types but uh, it is recommended just in case uh, some browsers have some issues with displaying certain content. They know what they're supposed to be displaying and how to display it. Um, but I haven't personally used doc types before, and I haven't really encountered many problems. And I know in the previous couple tutorials, I never, I never mentioned doc types. So um, it's kind of up to you if you want to use it or not. It's recommended if you're going to be doing work for I don't know clients or something, uh, and you want the web page to be uh, standardized and professional. I'd suggest you uh, throw in a doc type. Um, but again, it's not really necessary. Um, but it's up to you if you want to use it. It's recommended, so just figured I'd show you that. And something else I wanted to show you is actually how to insert comments into HTML. And like I said in the beginning of this uh, of this tutorial, um, in HTML comments, we never actually used throughout the first 22 tutorials. Um, but again, I figured I'd show you how to insert those, um, especially if you're going to start programming in other languages like Java, C++, JavaScript, uh, PHP. Because once the code starts getting more complex and you have loops and stuff going on and uh, if statements it's, and stuff kind of gets confusing, you're going to want to be able uh, to tell other people as well as yourself uh, when you go back and look at the code uh, what stuff does. So right here you can see that we have a comment. 
And this comment right here says, comments are used to remind yourself and others what your code does. And this comment doesn't actually show up on our web page here. Though I did include a paragraph about comments. Um, but so comments are only displayed within the code. They're not displayed in the end result or in the web page. Uh, and they're just used to remind you what the code does. Or if you come back to it, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks later and you don't remember, uh, you can just insert a comment to remind yourself. Or if you're working in a team, someone can insert a comment to remind you what's going on. So in HTML, this is how you go about making a comment. Uh, it's just simple. It's one tag, and you start off like a doc type with an exclamation point, and then two dashes, and then another two dashes to end it. And in between these two dashes, you can write in your comment. Um, so we can say this is a comment in HTML. And anything between these uh, two tags and dashes in this exclamation point here uh, is considered a comment in HTML. So if we save this and come over here and refresh, you'll notice that we don't get anything on the on the screen here, and that's because the comment is uh, it's essentially hidden from whatever's being displayed. It's only visible in the code. However, if we come over here and view the source, oops, I clicked on something. If we view the source, uh, you can see the comments. So if you go on other websites and view sources, uh, you might be able to see comments that other programmers and uh, HTML coders left. Uh, and that's always interesting to do, I guess. But this is basically how you leave a comment. And uh, the doc type also shows up here. But anyway, this is uh, pretty much what this tutorial is about. Comments can be used for whatever you want to do. Um, so for instance, you're creating a form and you want to tell people what it's about or what certain elements do. Uh, you can create a comment. And uh, you can say, like, this form is not finished. Please remember to work on it. And then whoever else is coding after you can come in and to see your comments and see what's going on. Um, so just feel free to play around with these ideas, feel free to use them. Um, just figured we haven't used them in the past 22 tutorials, so I figured I'd introduce it now. Uh, so feel free to play around with them, see how they work, and uh, have a great day.